Well, one of the things that kind of came out during this whole Diddy situation, man, is R. Kelly says he doesn't believe any of the allegations against Diddy. Who asked him? I don't know who asked him. Ken, I'm going to say something right now, and it's going to be controversial. There is a conspiracy going on. News Nation hits me up to come on they tele on they show to speak about what I saw at Diddy parties, right? They keep calling and saying, shout out Brian Cooper, my manager. They call Brian and they say, Big Homie worked for P. Diddy. He says, no, no, no. He never was employed by Sean Combs. In the, in the information, they keep trying to force to say I work for Sean Combs. They, did, they refused to pay me any money. I refused the show. I ended up going on court TV. They bring Ray J onto the show. I seen Ray J with Diddy partying. Diddy, him, F. Gary Gray, and Ray J was in Vegas doing some very suspicious things. So... I tell them, I'll tell you, so y'all got Ray J coming on the show when he was somebody who was always partying with dude? Why would they do that? There is there is some sort of weird conspiracy going on, and that's the proof right there. So when it comes to all of this, like I'm ready to like I'm ready to get wild with some people, bro, because they playing weird games, bro. When I seen the dude Ray J on there, I'm like, what? Y'all got him on here? But that's one of his main partying homies. So there is some sort of conspiracy taking place. For sure. Well, do you think that they were trying to get you to say that you worked for Diddy to try to like make it to try to discredit you or try to Later on, call you out for being a liar? So there are some people reaching out to me asking, would I come testify about certain things that I saw? I know that. But I'm not doing that. But if I'm telling them, like, look, this person was with him doing this, y'all got all these, y'all got a multiple million subscribers, Y'all refuse to pay for me to come on here when I'm finna risk my life and my business. But they go get this dude to come on here when he... That, that just say a lot to me. So I'm telling everybody who involved, be careful. Be on your P's and Q's. Especially Jaguar Wright, because she, she getting wild yeah. with everybody right now. You mentioned Court TV. Now, did you hang up on them? No, no, no. So the location I was in, I was bodyguarding a client in a very remote location. So the signal was pretty bad. But so once the video went out, they just had me do audio. And then so they actually rescheduled me. They rescheduled me. Yeah, so I'm doing them on Thursday, and I got a... Uh, I got Nancy Grace on Monday. Nancy Grace with the business. She's standing, she's stepping on, she's stepping on shit, bro. I ain't gonna bap with you on the gas. What all are they trying to talk to you about? My career, things I've seen at celebrity parties, people I've bodyguarded for, stuff like that. That's what's up, man. You keep doing more and more bigger shows, big, big shows, man. Yo, shout out Dr. Leslie Dobson. She's got a show called Intentionally Disturbing that's going to be dropping, shot by Brian Cooper and Look Who TV. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.